What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I hope everybody's had a great Taco Tuesday. Hope all your taco dreams came true. Um, we're still dealing with the fallout, of course, of the Cowboys' uh, premature exiting of the playoffs, and it stinks. It stinks to high heaven. I'll be the first one to say it. I wasn't ready for the offseason when it happened. Thought we would do a little bit better than what we did, but we just didn't. Um, we're not the only ones that's in this boat right now. You have the Eagles fans that are going crazy and things um, with uh, Jalen Hurts, and they just finished paying him $250 million, I think it is, um, on his contract, and they're in the you know going into the second year of it. And they're calling him literally Carson Wentz. Now, I will say, if I had to have my quarterback compared to other quarterbacks on the team, I think I would rather have Dak Prescott and Tony Romo compared to Carson Wentz and Jalen Hurts. I, I think I just would. And a lot of you, of course, are ready to say move on. But my big question is, you know, I, I, I still say, as there's a lot of teams out there that are looking for quarterbacks right now. I mean, apparently, Eagle fans are ready to look, look at one, and their quarterback was just in the Super Bowl last year. Um, you have to question a little bit if Josh Allen can get over the hump with the uh, Buffalo Bills. You've seen guys that were thought to be a top-five quarterback in Deshaun Watson that you wonder – is he going to get cut by the Cleveland Browns? We've seen a Super Bowl winning one in Russell Wilson, who was benched the last few games of the season. It will be released. It's hard to find a quarterback. It is very, very hard. And I would say the commanders, if you really look at it, I know Kirk Cousins isn't considered an elite quarterback, but they decided that he wasn't good enough and they have gone through a litany of quarterbacks. Now, I will say, the question is, is who still believes in Dak Prescott? I know you, the fans, a lot of you don't. I'm going to listen to people who have actually been there in the field. And let's listen to Troy Aikman. Well, I, I do know that uh, we all draw on our past experiences. And when we don't have great experiences, those then become hard to overcome. And, and I think that's the challenge for Dak, because the question for him, and really for the team, isn't so much what happens in the regular season now. It's how are they going to play and how is he going to play once you get into the postseason. That makes for a long year uh, when, when that's the way it works. And, and I've been there as well, as far as when the expectations are that high. But uh, I still believe in Dak. I, I think that... Until you do it, there's, there's always those criticisms. And I know Peyton Manning went through that his first three years. He didn't win a playoff game. And then you look back on it now, you can't imagine that anybody questioned whether or not he could win a playoff game. And, you know, the Cowboys have been through that earlier in their franchise history. So uh, the pressure gets higher, for sure, uh, as they go into this offseason and then next season. Uh, but it makes it hard. It makes it hard to come back and, and, and put themselves in a position to do it all over again. You know, the, the, everybody talks about the proverbial window and how long it's going to stay open. Uh, it's hard in this league to keep it up. You know, we just assume that because these key guys will be back that they'll continue to play at a high level, win 12 games, and put themselves in that position. And it just doesn't always work that way. So hopefully they have more opportunities ahead of them. There you go. You got Troy Aikman, who's kind of like, yeah. Honestly, I know I sound like a broken record over and over and over again. The hardest position to fill in the NFL is quarterback. I'm, believe it or not, it is. There is no quarterback store that you can just go through and pick a guy. Oh, I'm going to go ahead and get this guy who's going to be a Super Bowl winner every year. That does not exist. G 
going into the draft, you know, you can <laughs> you can hope that a guy that you draft is going to end up being a Troy Aikman versus a Josh Rosen or a Paxton Lynch or a Sam Darnold or a Marcus Mariota or a Jameis Winston. That is one of the biggest crapshoots that's out there. The funny thing that I heard today was K.J. Drummond, sports writer, had a proposal. A proposed trade, basically he believes, he says in the article, this is the silly season of the NFL, that he believes that the Cowboys and Dak Prescott will come up with a contract extension and save money and be able to try and do some things. If the Cowboys extend Dak, save a whole bunch of money, and only sign um, Micah Parsons and uh, CeeDee Lamb and don't do anything else to try and better the team, then we're going to have the same results. Let's be clear here. You, you, if the Cowboys don't do anything more than what they're doing right now, then don't expect any different results. You just can't. But the proposed trade was with the Chicago Bears. Now, first of all, he was saying that if the Cowboys and Dak Prescott can't come to a contract, then maybe Dak Prescott would waive his no trades clause, and you could trade with Chicago for one of their number one picks being the ninth pick. You trade Dak Prescott to the Bears. You take their ninth pick along with Justin Fields. You know, this is the silly season where we come up with all these crazy scenarios. And you will hear all crazy different ones. You know, how the Cowboys can get Stephon Diggs here uh, on the team and this, that, and the other. The funny thing is with all of these proposed crazy trades that we hear, the Cowboys don't do anything. They don't do they have free agents that are good free agents that are basically begging to come here and they won't do assign those guys. So what makes you think they would do a wild and crazy trade at this point? Which is crazy to me because I think about the move they made for Herschel Walker. Was that Jerry Jones or was that Jimmy Johnson? They're not gonna make those crazy moves. In which case you have Dak Prescott. And the thing to do with it, because it is the hardest position to change. I mean, if you go with Justin Fields, uh, you know, just, just hear me out here for a second. If you're saying the guy who got 36 TDs with only nine interceptions, you want to get rid of him for a guy that only had 16 and nine, and they went out and got him more talent to go around him, then you're a bigger fool than I am. You're a bigger fool than I am. Let's be clear on that one. And that's just not going to happen. So the best thing the Cowboys can do, Dak Prescott is more than capable. But you're going to have to go ahead and support the guy. If, you honest, if you're honest with yourself, and I don't want to hear people are saying, well, the Cowboys weren't that bad at running the football. They were 14th. Okay, yeah, they're 14th averaging 4.1 yards a carry and couldn't run the ball when they needed to. You get Tony Pollard, who's down there on the goal line and can't get a yard. You have short yardage, fourth and ones and things, and you can't get a yard. When you had a lead and you need to just run out the clock, you didn't have a guy who could run out the clock. And when playoffs came around, sorry, bro. 50 yards from your lead back, 3.9 yards of carry, that ain't getting it done, bro. That ain't getting it done. You need more. And Troy Aikman, guess what? He had that offensive line. He had that running game. He had one of the best wide receivers and a great tight end. You want to talk about having perfect situations? Oh, and he had one of the number one defenses in football. You want to talk about having a perfect situation and winning Super Bowls? That was Troy Aikman's career.